everybody. So today we are going to try Green Fly from Hot Butcher. Thank you to Hot Butcher for sending this. Uh, Wymia and Simcoe Hot Double India Pale Ale. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Wymia. I don't think I've ever heard of that hop. 7.5% uh, ABV is what is on the can. Dragonfly. Cool can art, as always, from Hot Butcher. So let's go ahead and get this open. Let's look at the date. 8-2. Uh, um, I don't even know what today is. 27th or something like that. So 25 days old. Uh, let's pour it in here. Definitely double New England IPA, to me, anyway. Uh Double IPA, double New England IPA. Sorry, I have to move this chair over. Um, usually I say 7.5 and above is double, no matter what. Some people could beg to differ. Some brewing companies could. But for me, 7.5 and above is always a double IPA. Um, Off-white colored head, pretty much all small bubbles. A little over a finger of head, and I can smell it already. Um, good, milky orange light yellow orange color i mean just from here i think you guys are going to see more yellow more like a i would say a standard new england ipa from hot butcher i'm seeing a little bit more orange than their traditional say new england ipa doesn't matter no uh but i'm just telling you you guys are seeing like a milky yellow, definitely a milky yellow uh, color. And I'm seeing more darker orange. I'm like making it darker than it sounds, but there's definitely orange in there. So most of the time I would say that leads me to a like citrus based New England IPA. And... Does that mean that's what it's going to be? No, because I can smell tropical from here. But, um, and I think I keep going back to that because Bell's Sh Side Yard, the very first year they came out with that, like prior to that, they were all tropical. So when I saw that color, I was like, huh, this is kind of different. So that doesn't mean anything, but I'm just saying. Usually when I see that, that orange it's more towards the citrus side, but that doesn't mean it's going to be. Let's go ahead and smell. Also, I'll say it because I thought about this when I looked at the can. Simcoe. Um, so, no hype. Um, he, duh, he put out his strong arm John the same day I did. And I watched his, and he said something about onion. And I was like, man, that sounds familiar. Um, and I didn't get it out of Strong Arm John. Uh, but when I looked up Simcoe, it does have um, th that onion. And that is the first thing I kind of smelt, but dominated by tropical fruit. And I don't know if I'm saying onion because I put two and two together with the Simcoe or not. Like a sweeter, meaty fruit. Um, maybe more mango than anything, but that tropical is there. I want to say a sweeter tropical. Like sweeter tropical mango. I can't I can't get off on you now. I I smell it. I don't know if it's coming from my head. <laughs> because again, like I said, in Strong Arm John, I didn't, but I have another can that I will be getting cold and drinking to see if I can pull that out. Um I would say for the smell. Big time tropical mango side uh, sweetness. Even from here, I can smell it. But when I get down in there, same smell, but I'm going to say onion. I get onion. Let's go ahead and taste. Sweet. 
sweeter side of mango, definitely. Maybe some pineapple, but definitely tropical in there. I get a little hint of bitterness in the back end. Maybe it's from the dry hop, but I almost want to say it, it burns just a tiny bit in the back. So easy drinking. Um, I don't know what the third one's going to be. So Hot Butcher puts three tasting notes on the back. It's going to be tropical. It's probably... It's probably going to be mango. I don't know what that third one's going to be. I get that that bitterness in the back. For me, this is a little too sweet on the sweeter side, but very drinkable, easy drinking beer. Body seems a little thin for 7.5. I don't know what that hops bringing. Um, 4.25 out of 5. Um, I could definitely drink a lot of these and get in trouble. I, I don't... I want to say green. Um, like, maybe too much dry hop, like coming, not greeny, uh, but just, that's like what the smell when I dry my hops, then after I package them and my hands are like all yellow from the Lupulin, um, and smelling it, that's kind of what it is. I don't know. It's definitely, I'm going to say green, greeny, something like that uh, in here. I don't know. Uh, sweet tropical. I don't know what I'm going to put with mango. Something mango. Pleasant bitterness. In this one. Uh, 4.25 as I said. So let's go. Here. Let's pour the rest of this in here real quick. And take another drink. Just to make sure. Yeah, color still has a little orange on it. That sweetness. Big time sweetness. I would still go 4.25 out of 5. It's still very good. And the back end of that bitterness, like the aftertaste, it seems like the bitterness just comes out after all that sweetness. Um... Yeah, I think I have to go tropical mango. Hmm. Pleasant bitterness is what I'm going with. Let's check. Uh, bright tropical candied mango. Okay. Juicy tangerine. Huh. Obviously, the color on this one doesn't match the the profile of it. Candy, I I could I could see that. I don't bright. I drinking this more and more. I would say a little dankness in there. I'm not going to say onion, though. I think I did okay. I got the tropical and the mango, so two out of three. Not bad. Tangerine. I don't think I could pull that tangerine out of this. Um, but it is what it is. So, yeah, 4.25 out of 5. Let's check untapped. None of my friends have tried it or checked it in, I should say. Almost 1,000 people. 4.21 out of 5. Citrus, juicy, piney, orange, sweet. That goes with the color. That's not what I get, though. 
Huh. Uh, sweet on the back end. It's bitter on the back end. It's sweet up front. Um, another banger. Yeah, not a lot of people are commenting. So, yeah, definitely one to pick up and try if you're into beers like this. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more Hot Butcher reviews over here. Until next time, cheers.